So within Flow, it's not best practice to hard code IDs. This is because these IDs can vary between different Salesforce environments. You may want to hard code an ID or be inclined to do so for a number of different reasons. The first reason is perhaps you want to set a certain record type on an opportunity, for example. Using the get records element, I can get the record type dynamically within the flow. And then I can use this to update my opportunity at a later point. So for example, using a get records, querying records of the record type object, I could search for records where the developer name is B2B and the flow would then return to me the record type, which I could then use later on in the flow to set the record type of the opportunity. Additionally, you might be hard coding elements to reference particular users. Again, using a get records, you can get users based on set criteria without then having to hard code the ID. For example, you could get a user where the first name equals Tom and the last name equals Bassett. If you are doing this, couple of pointers, make sure that you are also referencing users where is active equals true. Otherwise your flow logic can fail and consider using different fields apart from first name and last name as these values could change. Perhaps using an email address or a username is a better example here. This way you can get the user ID dynamically without having to hard code the ID within your flow. One last example of this is getting particular records in your flow. For example, if you wanted to associate a contact or a lead with a particular campaign, instead of hard coding the campaign ID into your logic, you could again use a get records element to get a campaign that perhaps has a particular attribute. So in this case, I wanna get a campaign where the name equals website. That way I can then use this record later on within my flow and add a contact or a lead to this particular campaign without having to hard code the campaign ID anywhere. This is because it's best practice to build any flow logic in a sandbox and then deploy it through your sandbox pipeline into production. Building flows this way allows you to avoid hard coding IDs anywhere and ensures that when you deploy your flow, you don't need to update any of the logic because it's already set to dynamically get the records that you needed. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.